Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. Another day, another learning. And for today's video, we will explain to you why we can't drink seawater. But before we begin the discussion, if you would like to encourage us to produce more educational content, please show your support by giving a like to the video and subscribing to our channel. You can also help our team grow with your monetary support through our donation PayPal link located in the description below. You see, we live in a world composed of 71% water. Yet out of that enormous water composition, we only have 3% of drinkable water here on Earth. How is that so? This is because out of 71% water, 97% of it are found in the ocean which is also known as seawater and naturally very salty in which then leads us to our main question today why can't we really drink seawater you might really wonder why humans do not consume seawater when in fact we need water and salt as part of our daily diet though its nasty salty taste is part of the reasons that we do not drink seawater it is not the main reason there is a scientific explanation why humans and some animals do not consume this type of water. Let us find out. Remember that nature always strives to attain its equilibrium within the system and within its environment. This is perfectly observed in the transfer of heat energy, just like when we place ice in a room temperature. Definitely, the ice has a very low temperature compared to its surrounding. And as nature strives to attain equilibrium, the heat energy from the surrounding will enter and flow within the system of the ice until both of the surrounding and the system attain the same temperature. Let us also take for example, if we have a container full of water and we have another similar container but empty. Now if we create a hole and connect it to the empty container, the water will now flow from the container a which is full of water towards the empty container B until both containers have the same amount of water. This happens because again nature strives to attain equilibrium in every situation. Now let us apply this to our main topic. How? Let's check this out. The main reason why we do not drink seawater is because of the amount of salt it has. Recall that our cells are made up of 70% water in order to be efficient. Our bodies can only accommodate and process small amount of salt and everything that is exists in our bodies can cause more harm than good. And take note that our body and body cells are not exemption to the nature of striving for equilibrium. Then if we take a lot of salt, we are consuming something that is very concentrated causing our body cells to give up their water composition in order to equalize the concentration of seawater that we have consumed. That is the reason why we will feel thirstier the moment we drink seawater. Our body will demand additional water consumption in order to avoid the consumption of water from our body cells. We need to meet the needed amount of water to dilute the salt concentration until it reaches the concentration that is tolerable by our body and could be processed in our kidneys because failure to do so could damage our body cells and worse permanently damage our kidneys did you clearly understand it that is why despite of the enormous water composition of the earth there are only selected and few sources of a drinkable water and water from the ocean is not included and that is all for now i hope you learned something from us today once again this is earth pen learning has never been this easy for anyone Anywhere, have a nice day.